Good morning everyone. We're going to make some tomato gravy. I have two ways of making it. This one we're going to do today uses um, tomato paste. So in my pan here I have four tablespoons of bacon grease that I'm heating up. You can use butter instead of bacon grease, um, but grandma always used butter. I mean, I'm sorry, bacon grease. So we're not going to use the butter today. So to this, once we get this melted up, we're going to add three tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Okay, so now let's get our three tablespoons of flour in here. Now we're going to cook this until the flour um, gets brown. That's pretty much for like cooking the flour to get the flour taste out. Of course, the baking grease is brown, so it's not browned yet. So we're going to give this a minute or two. We're still working it here. It'll be done here in a minute. Then we're going to go ahead and to this, we're going to add two cups of water. Okay, so now we're going to add the water to our pan. And there's one. And there's two. I'm going to whisk this together. Then I'm going to let this cook for one more minute. And I'm going to keep whisking it together. Then we're going to add a three ounce is of um, tomato paste. I have a six ounce. I'm going to use a half of that can. And then we're going to put that to this. All right now we're going to add our half a can, or half of a six ounce can of tomato paste. All right. Then we're going to whisk this together. And then you want to turn your heat kind of on low because it'll start to get kind of thick. And it thickens up quicker than you realize. So you want to whisk this all together. Now pretty much you can do the same steps um, and use um, a canned tomatoes or home canned tomatoes as well. You don't have to use the tomato paste. But I know a lot of times not everybody has canned tomatoes. You know, so again, you have that alternative that you can use the um, tomato paste. So we're going to add, um, after I cook this down, I'm going to cook this down for another minute to get that all warmed up with everything else. And then I'm going to add some salt and pepper to this. Okay, so it's a little, I mean, it's not real thick, but it's a little thick. So I'm going to add just like another like tablespoon of water to it just to thin it out a little bit more. Again, it's your preference to your likings. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add some salt. So again, just your preference of salt. And then, oops, um, maybe a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Now the pepper gets hot as it cooks, so you kind of want to do that last so you don't heat the whole entire gravy up. So this is um, one of the ways that we make the tomato gravy. So. Hopefully everybody gives this a try. Um, we have cookbooks that are available still online. Um, I will take 
check, um, or you can purchase them online. So if anybody's interested in those, please get in contact with me. There'll be a link above this post, um, and you can click right on it, and that'll take you right to where you can order this book. So I hope everyone has a wonderful, blessed Thursday, and I hope everybody gives this a try.